Yeshua, we give you all the praise and all the honor in your holy name. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to be with you again in this beautiful day. So today's video is packed with a lot of things, even a giveaway. So I would like to speak about all the supernatural events that have been happening to me since Genesis passing away like a couple of days ago. And speaking about supernatural things, I would like to say that I haven't dyed my hair for like a month and you can't really tell the difference between my roots and the blonde, which is very, very bizarre. And what I'm trying to say is my hair is becoming naturally blonde, which is very, very bizarre. So now I would like to continue with the video and I would like to speak about the supernatural things that have been happening to me in the last couple of days since Genesis passed away. Something happened to me and I have a couple of speculations about it. Either I got born again, again, because I got born again like a few times or either I got delivered, like I received deliverance, maybe both or maybe it is another supernatural event i'm still not very sure the lord is very quiet about it but still i would like to share with you my experience and my thoughts my first thoughts of what is going on so today is the 25th of august 2023 genesis passed away not yesterday but the day before like on the 23rd and 23 is a very significant number for me in Kingdom Matters. So Genesis passed away on the 23rd. I want to say in the morning of the 23rd, I woke up. I woke up and just opened YouTube and I found this video with speaking in tongues and I played it for some reason and to me these tongues were sounding very fake I decided to test the tongues and I asked the Lord Father was this tongue fake like false I asked him to give me a verse and I used this random Bible verse generator which the Lord uses a lot to speak to me like yeah and he gave me this verse. It's about Esther when she asked her people not to eat nor to drink for three days and three nights. And then she would go to the king. And I knew I had to fast for three days and three nights with no food and no water. And so I started without questioning it because I knew it was the Lord speaking. He didn't bother to reply to me about any tongues if they were fake or not. He straight like commanded me to start fasting for three days with no food and no water. And this is the 23rd. So I started and Genesis wasn't doing very well. At 12 o'clock the same day, later that day when I got to check on her I saw that she was like opening and closing her beak and it didn't take me long to realize that her soul was coming out and I just stayed with her and at 12 20 she passed away in my hands and then I needed some rest and I went in bed in the afternoon but I couldn't fall asleep and I started feeling this uncomfortable fever like I would get these chills like freezing chills at the surface of my skin and at the same time my skin was burning my whole body was burning I couldn't get to sleep so I got up and I filmed for you the video that Genesis 
just has passed away and then in the evening i went in bed but i was feeling this uncomfortable fever and it was so painful on the surface of my skin i would feel these freezing painfully freezing chills and at the same time my skin was my body was burning and it was so painful and i suffered i suffered and i couldn't fall asleep and i tried to lay down on the sofa here a few hours later i tried to make a bed here on the floor because i was sleeping on the floor for some very strange reason and i just love i just love sleeping on the floor especially by the fireplace and then i tried to sleep in the bedroom i started to 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 feel like vomiting i went into the bathroom i couldn't vomit so i laid down on the ground and just the coolness of the tiles bathroom tiles calmed me down a little bit so i fell asleep i managed to get some sleep on the bathroom for for a while and during all that time i was crying to the lord and begging him father i'm dying please help me and during all that time i was thinking i have to fast for two more days i have to fast for two more days actually i want to correct myself now the verse with the three day esther fast the lord didn't give it to me on the 23rd when genesis passed away but the day before that on the 22nd yeah i'm correcting myself and now i would like to get back to the night after genesis passing away so we have the day and the night of fasting on the 22nd this is the first day then we have the 23rd when genesis passed away then we have this day and this night yeah so two days and two nights and i was like dying to have some tomato juice i was so thirsty when i was having these chills and this fever and i was suffering i was in torment i was in hell torment i was in hell my flesh was in hell i was dying and dying like death was consuming me this fire was consuming me it was so terrible so painful and i was crying to the lord and just the thought that i cannot have a drop of water and i was i was dying i was craving for some fresh homemade tomato juice i was craving for that and the thought that i have to make another day and another night without water without tomato juice it was just killing me and i was suffering and suffering and crying to the lord and in pain it was probably the most painful time in my life i've been under surgery it cannot be compared to anything that I have experienced before. And then somehow, after a lot of crying to the Lord, I managed to get some sleep. And I woke up at 5.55 in the morning. And I woke up with this unction in my mind that actually I have done the fasting because I told you already about the 22nd and the 23rd, like the two days of fasting, but actually on the 21st, I also fasted for a day and for a night without having anything to drink and anything to eat. So we have the day and the night on the 21st. When I fasted unintentionally, then we have the day and the night on the 22nd when the lord gave me the verse for the three day esther fast and then we have the day and the night on the 23rd when genesis passed away so at 5 55 on the 24th i woke up with the understanding i guess yeshua has explained me the things in the spirit while i was sleeping very often i wake up with revelations 
So I woke up with this revelation that actually I have done my past. And I want to say on the previous day, I was so torturously thirsty that actually I checked the sunrise time for the 25th because I was counting like that 22nd, 23rd, 24th. In my interpretation, I had to stop the fast on the 25th. So I checked even on the 23rd because I was torturously thirsty. I checked the sunrise time for the 25th and it was 6.35. So this means that the day before that it will be one minute earlier. I'm very accurate with the sunrise and sundown times because I am keeping the Sabbath. Because I start my Sabbath at exactly at sundown on Friday and I exit the Sabbath exactly on sundown on Saturday. So I'm very familiar with the timings of the sunrise and sundown because I use it very often for the Sabbath days. So even on the 23rd, because I was torturously thirsty, I have already checked that the sunrise time for the 25th would be 6.30 there is always one minute difference so i woke up here on the 24th at 5:55, with the understanding that the fast is over because i already had the 23rd the 22nd and the 21st it was done it was finished so i knew the sunrise would be one minute earlier before the 25th this would mean 6:34. And I woke up at 5.55, so I immediately went downstairs, though it was torturously heavy for me to go downstairs. I was, I was dying. It was painful. My blood pressure was like zero. My blood sugar was like, I have done so much more fasting in my life, like greater periods and heavier fasts. I have never experienced something like this before. It was torment from hell. And I believe this was the night when the Lord killed my flesh. So I went downstairs somehow. I don't know how I went downstairs. I just raised up from my dead bed and I went downstairs and I made two bottles of tomato juice and I brought them up here. So I put the bottles on my table and sat down and I looked at the time and it was exactly 6.34. So the Lord didn't, didn't delay even a minute. He was like with me during all that time, like he was feeling my pain. He was feeling for me during all that time when I have been crying to him and everything. He was feeling for me during all that time and he didn't delay for a minute at 6 34 the two bottles with the freshly made tomato juice with ice and everything they were right in front of me and that's when i knew that actually my interpretation my other interpretation was was actually correct because i had like the the favor of the Lord. I saw the favor of the Lord because the two tomato juices were right in front of me, ready to consume at exactly 6.34. So this interpretation was the correct one. The 21st, the 22nd and the 23rd. So it was, that was the correct interpretation. And at 6.34 on the 24th of August, the tomato juices were in front of me. The Lord didn't delay for a minute. I drank them and probably I, I drank like 10 bottles of tomato juice that day. Like in a little bit, I started to feel very refreshed and at half past 10, I was feeling excellent. And I received my home students and we had like the most wonderful lessons. At lunchtime, I had some roasted vegetables it was delicious some nice healthy bread some nuts 
some smoothies with banana and homemade oat milk. I made myself homemade oat milk because I wanted to put in the temple something fresh, not something uh, like from the shop with honey. This day, like I consumed like maybe 10 bottles of tomato juice and banana smoothie. It was delicious. And in the evening, I read my Bible for one hour because every day I read the Bible for half an hour. And just on the 23rd, I wasn't capable, I wasn't able to read. I didn't pray, I didn't read my Bible. I was dying, I'm telling you. Since Genesis passed away, I have been in a torturous fire. And I believe the Lord healed my flesh with this fire during that fast and everything. And actually, I received one dream and two visions in the night when Genesis passed away with the fever and everything when I was sleeping on the bathroom floor. I had like a half an hour of sleep and then I received maybe an hour or two in the bedroom. So I received a dream where I saw exactly the same framed pictures like the ones I got for Genesis, but they were in black frames exactly the way i bought them from the store if you have watched my video building genesis home based on a dream so these are exactly the same framed pictures that i bought from the store for genesis and i painted the frames in white because i wanted them to be white but in my dream i saw exactly the same framed pictures but still with the black frames they were like many of them in a perfectly straight line like these framed pictures and inside of the framed pictures there were documents and they were german documents if this is my dream they were german documents for donations and i saw my name in one of the framed documents and the other framed documents they were with the names of some other people and then I received, while I was torturously awakened, I received two visions. I saw a devil, like with two legs, like standing like a human, but it was a devil, black with horns, a devil. He had some clothes. And then I saw a whole crowd, a whole legion of some other devils and they was in something like a yard they were like with horns black walking on two legs and then in a while i received another vision i saw a group of people walking on a field of grass walking like the whole crowd was heading somewhere and let me give you the revelation actually the two Visions are connected. So these devils, they are gathered together in this place, in this yard. They are gathered together and to go on a mission, to go for someone, to go for me, actually. They've been sent by the devil, by Satan, to go after me, to go against me, to attack me, to still kill and destroy me and everything about me. And the second vision with the people heading, with the crowd of people heading somewhere, these are actually these devils like in humans. So the legion of the devils entered the crowd of the people and they are all after me. And so I'm expecting a lot of attacks and a lot of things coming against me right now from a lot of people. I don't know who exactly are these people. I didn't recognize them in the dream. But I want to say, just I have this unction that one or some of these people would be like YouTube prophetic voices. Their videos would come up on my YouTube homepage. I would click on them, watch some false prophecies. I will put my trust in them and my hope in them. And because they are false prophecies, the spirit behind these prophecies are actual devils. 
they will not come to pass and I will have my hope deferred. That's one of the actions that I know. And I take this as a compliment because if I get so much effort and attention from the devil, I take this as a compliment. This means something to me. I take this as a compliment. And actually, another supernatural thing that I would like to share with you, I want to say, and I will just say it in a couple of moments let me just continue with my testimony and i'll like connect the things connect the dots for you just give me a second yesterday i woke up at 5 55 i had all these bottles of freshly made tomato juice banana smoothies and everything delicious roasted vegetables i had my afternoon nap where i read the bible for one hour and it was so interesting like I saw the Bible with new eyes and this is one of the things that I'm trying to say and that's why I'm trying to say that I really got delivered or born again again I'm not really sure maybe both maybe some another supernatural thing happened to me not quite sure yet and in, in the evening instead of praying like every night I just went with the flow of the Holy Spirit. I didn't force myself to do anything. I just wanted to chill up. I just went with the flow with the, with the Holy Spirit because, you know, there is time for everything. There is time to be like sharp as a soldier, but there is time just to chill up. So yesterday, and I went like sharp as a soldier for maybe three months now. So yesterday the lord gave me a day off and i was just chilling and actually i found this show fixing dysfunctional hotels and i really enjoyed like a couple of episodes of the show and it's filmed in the united states and one of the episodes was in one very very beautiful very beautiful american town i really fell in love i would love to visit it someday but my point is i actually while i was watching the episodes i started noticing the faces of the people and i in the episodes in the show and i would immediately recognize the torsion the demonic torsion of their faces like the demons that are inside of them so if you have watched my video, I sold the load for 8 hours a day for 40 days. There I shared with you that in a series of dreams and visions, Yeshua had revealed to me that my prophecy is being attacked by the devil and I need prayer. So right now, I really see things differently. So I believe what happened to me in the night with the fever, I believe I received deliverance and my spiritual eyes are maybe fully opened now but in any case i see a great breakthrough so while i was watching the episodes i would immediately see the demonic torsion of the faces of the people like the demons they the demons inside these people like the demonic features i could see the demonic features through people's faces i could see the distortion the demonic features would distort the faces of the people and i could see the distortion i could straight see the i can now straightly see now i can straightly see the demon in the in the the demon i mean the head of the legion i can straight straightly see the demon inside this person it's not scary at all but it's very gross, very, very gross and very sad as well. So I woke up yesterday, I had all these meals and juices and smoothies. I watched this show in the night. I started seeing the distortion of the human faces because of the demonic features. And this morning when I woke up, I opened the front door of my floor and I saw that my cat actually because she is an outside cat she came upstairs and there was a piece of bread on the stairs so she got to the bread she had some bread and she blissfully went for a nap on my doormat and this usually would freak me out because 
I really like cleanness. I'm always immaculately clean. And I'm still immaculately clean, even after the deliverance. But I didn't freak out. I took it like so normally. I didn't freak out. And I went downstairs because I had some students. I just enjoyed myself. I just took my time. I didn't freak out. That's like my number one sign that I got delivered. Or I got born again because I didn't freak out. Usually this would really freak me out. The scene with the cat and with the bread. And how she was laying on the mat of my door. But this time it was actually really fun to me. Really funny to me. I have this supernatural peace. And I have this peace usually when I got born again. Oh, I receive deliverance. I live in the peace of the Lord, but every time I get born again, and every time I get delivered, like the peace is in a whole another level. So right now I'm walking in this peace of a whole another level. So that's why I'm suspecting I got born again again, or maybe I got delivered, or maybe both. And yeah. And I cleaned and everything and I decided maybe it, it will be a good idea to, to share all that with you. I think it will be interesting to you. And now I would like to share with you about the giveaway. So you remember the frame pictures which I made for Genesis? And these two pictures that I showed you in the video, they will stay because their genesis forever but i want to make another framed picture with a bible verse for one of you and that's my giveaway you don't need to like the channel you don't need to like me you don't need to be a subscriber you don't need to subscribe you don't need to like you don't need to do anything i love you all anyway you don't need to do anything. I love you. The only thing is, I would like to ask you, in order to enter the giveaway, and you can be from any part of the world, I'll ship the picture for you. So the only thing that I would kindly ask you to do is to go down in the comments and share with us your favorite Bible verse or maybe a Bible verse that you are really loving at the moment or just the Bible verse that is on your heart right now. That's the only thing that I would ask you in order to take part in the giveaway. I now choose one of you based on the comments and I will make you a customized framed picture with a Bible verse and yeah. So, Please enter the giveaway by the 15th of September. And by the way, thank you so much for your kind words about Genesis uh, passing away. Your kindness means the world to me. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a blessed day. May Jesus bless you. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Yeshua is Lord.